In this video, we're going to cover Atari Lynx emulation on the PC version of RetroArch. Alright, the Atari Lynx, what a fascinating handheld, one that actually had a number of cool features, honestly. And its interesting form factor still makes it quite an interesting thing to look at today. But while there weren't many games for the system, there are a number of really cool games that were available for it that can be emulated nicely on PC, and I'm going to show you how to get that set up today. So let's dive in. So to get started with Atari Lynx emulation on the PC version of RetroArch, you need to get the PC version of RetroArch installed, so you can do this either in a standalone format or through Steam. I have guides on how to do both on my channel if you haven't done so already, so links to these will be in the description below. But... Follow through with my setup guide, get RetroArch installed, configured, that way you can follow along with this guide and not have any issues. Next, you are going to need to source an Atari Lynx boot image, otherwise games will not launch. While dumping the Lynx boot image from an actual Lynx console is possible, it can be quite tedious, so chances are you'll probably want to resort to Google to source this one. And once sourced, it needs to be named linksboot.img. And once you have that ready to go, you just need to add it to your RetroArch system folder. So open up your RetroArch install. So for my demonstration purposes, I had it on the desktop. Scroll down to system and add your linksboot image right on in. And it is now ready to go. Next, you'll need to source some Atari Lynx games. And again, you can dump these from physical cartridges or resort to Google to find them. I don't really care which way you go about doing things, just don't ask for illegal download links as they will not be provided. But once you have your Atari Lynx games sourced, just put them anywhere you want on your computer. It doesn't matter where they go, just put them wherever. So again, my demonstration purposes, I'm going to add them to my games folder on my RetroArch demo folder. But now we just need to boot into RetroArch and download the Beetle Lynx Core. So we'll go ahead and open up RetroArch. Once RetroArch is finished loading, just go to the online updater on the main menu, Core Downloader, scroll down to Atari, and we are going to download Beetle Lynx. Once that core is finished downloading, we can begin loading up Atari Lynx content. So one method of doing so, head to load content, navigate to where your games are stored, Select a game and it should automatically boot up. If it's zipped, you might have to select the Atari Lynx core. But as long as everything is being detected properly, you should be greeted by an Atari Lynx boot up image and uh, your game. So there we go. Now, personally, I'm not too fond of that method. So what I like to do instead is make a game's playlist using the RetroArch desktop menu on PC. So you can activate this by clicking on show desktop menu or press F5 on your keyboard. Once the desktop menu has loaded up, just right click anywhere over here in the content browser new playlist and type in Atari space dash space links and you should now be greeted by a new Atari links playlist entry here on the left so select that then right click in the white space here to add folder navigate to your games select folder core beetle links database Atari links press OK and all of your links games should pop up now, one of the great things about the desktop menu is it will show you if your Lynx boot image is being detected properly. So if you don't have a Lynx boot image, this will appear in red. If your Lynx boot image is being detected, it will appear in green. So great troubleshooting method there for you. But if desired, you can pretty up these playlists by right clicking on the Atari Lynx playlist entry, download all thumbnails, this playlist. And as long as your games are named correctly, box art should populate your playlist entries. So it's typically looking for the game followed by a region code. You can also manually add in box art if desired in PNG format by selecting the game in question and dragging a PNG picture into the box art section here on the right. But once you're done creating your playlist, you can just exit out of the desktop menu, press F on RetroArch to make it full screen once again. And to get your new playlist to show up on the left, just scroll down to restart RetroArch on the main menu and select it. And now there is a new Atari Lynx playlist here on the left with our games populating it with box arts on the right if added and then to play a game all you need to do is select it and tell it to run and there we go Atari Lynx games up and running on the PC version of RetroArch so very cool stuff very fun to see Atari Lynx games running on such a big screen but this being emulation we do have a couple of core options to cover when it comes to Atari Lynx games so from this point on in the video we are going to be covering some of the advanced core options available to us within Beetle Lynx. 
So pressing F1 on our keyboard or a guide button on a controller will be brought into the RetroArch quick menu here. Scroll down to core options. And our first option is to auto-rotate the screen. So again, the Atari Lynx could be held in a number of ways, so you did need to be able to rotate the screen. So it's set to auto by default. That should work for most use cases, but you can manually select a rotation degree here, or you can set it to manual, so that way every time you press the select button, it will rotate it automatically. And our final option is to choose our color format, so it's set to 16-bit by default, but you can change it up to 32-bit to get better colors. And that's going to do it for our core options. Like I said, not much to this one. So one more thing to cover real quick before we call this video is the use of shaders. RetroArch has an extensive shader library that you can use to get nice effects for a good number of your games. So you can enable shaders here, make sure you have downloaded them from the online updater, then go to load and begin loading up shaders that you want to use for your games. So for the Atari Lynx, I like to use basically the same sort of shader I would use for Game Boy Color. So here we go. We have some LCD grid options here. So for example, we have this one here. And it just gives you a nice grid line effect for your Atari Lynx games to make it a little bit more reminiscent of playing on an actual handheld screen. So the thing about shaders is they are all personal preference, so there's no such thing as the perfect shader. So essentially you're just going to go through and find the ones that you like best and run with them. So once you find a shader that you like, just go back into the shader tab, click on the save button and save them as a core preset so that way every time you load up a game, that is the shader that will greet you. And that's going to do it for Atari Lynx Simulation on the PC version of RetroArch. Again, not much to this one, but you can enjoy a nice selection of handheld games on your bigger screen. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your Lynx Simulation projects up and running to your liking. But here at the end, I do have a couple of favors to ask. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, as well as that sub button and notification bell, just so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, y'all are the truest of champs, thank you so much. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.